composition lecture. So composition is a much more elegant way of using methods and attributes from a parent in a child class. The problem with inheritance is that a child class inherits all the attributes and methods. With composition, we can explicitly choose what is inherited from the parent class. So there's a lot of debate about whether to choose composition or inheritance when creating classes. And what I want to briefly illustrate is the advantage of using composition over inheritance. So here we have seven classes with multi-level inheritance. And G is the child class and A is the parent class. And because it's multi-level inheritance, A is the least complex, and then it gradually increases in complexity to G being the most complex of classes. So with multiple inheritance, we have a class called H, and it has two classes it's inheriting from, which are G and D. Now, it's going to be inheriting methods and attributes. So the question arises, does class H inherit the same method from G or D class? And this creates the diamond problem. So with composition, this helps prevent the diamond problem from occurring. And the way I like to think of inheritance and composition is that inheritance means to take everything, whereas composition means to take what you need and leave the rest. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create a base class, and then we're going to use inheritance, and then afterwards we're going to use composition to make a comparison here. Okay, so we'll have class, basic and then we'll do def init so a special method and then we'll have self and x equal to 20 y equal to 8 as our default values self dot x equals x self dot y equals y and then we'll have three methods so def this is going to be addition so nothing special here return self dot x plus self dot y then we'll have let's say subtraction self return self dot x minus self dot y and then lastly we'll have a for loop of a times table so def times table and then we'll do for i in range one because we don't want to start off with a zero and then we'll have self dot y and then we'll do print and this is going to be percent sign i times percent sign i equals percent sign i then the modulus or percent sign then we'll have i and self dot y then i times self dot y okay so we'll create an instance of our basic class so v equals basic on that and we'll do v dot tab you can see i have my three methods and i have the x and y here so if i do addition I get 28, if I do B dot subtraction, I get 12, and if I do B dot times table, I get 1 times 8, all the way down to 7 times 8 is 56. All right, so let's say we want to do inheritance here. So we're going to be inheriting the basic class, which is our base class. And I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here, and we'll have class, and we'll call this just advanced. And this is going to be basic, of course. And then we'll do our init self. And we'll have x equal to 20, y equal to 8. And we'll do super dot init x and y. And then we'll put in, let's say, def multiply self return self x times self dot y all right and then we'll do a equals advanced and we'll do a just run that and then we'll just check what we have a dot tab so you can see we've inherited the various other methods and we have the x and y here as well so let's take a look at the times table here see that works okay great so we have the exact same output as we had earlier with the basic class our times table. All right, I'm just going to hide that and hide this as well. And now we're going to do composition. So we can make a comparison here between the advanced class and another one we're going to call comp. So comp, and this is not going to take any inheritance. And then we'll do def init self and self dot base equals basic. 
So we're going to be creating a parameter, a default parameter of it being equal to the basic class. And then we'll do def and we'll have multiply as well, self, and then we we'll do return self.base.x times self.base.y. All right, and then we'll do def times y self, and then we we'll do return self dot base dot times table. All right, on that should be good to go. I'll just make some space here, or rather remove the space so we can see what's at the bottom here. And then I'm going to have an instance, so c equals comp on that, so it should be good to go. Then c dot tab. And you can see I have my methods here and I have the base as well. So we can just check that, dot tab, and as you can see, now I can access all of the methods and the attributes here, x and y, for the basic class. All right, so let's do the multiply, c dot multiply for that, so we've got 160. Actually, let's just do this as well for a dot multiply, and we've got 160 here as well. All right, and then I'll do c dot times y. Scroll down here so we can see the output in totality. So as you can see, I have the exact same output as I had with the advanced and basic classes. All right, so that's more or less what composition does. You don't have to worry about inheriting all the other attributes and methods. So say, for instance, if you didn't want to inherit the addition and subtraction methods, but you simply wanted to have the code for the times table from the basic class, then that's where composition would be very useful. All right, so let's try an alternative approach for the basic class here. So instead, what I'm going to do is have x, what is here, x equals 20, y equals 8 as class attributes here, and then I'm going to just delete this and have pass. And I'm also going to get rid of the default values of x and y from the init method. And then what I'm going to do is if you hold the control, or if you're a Mac user, it should be command, then double click, double click, double click, double click, double click, and double click. And then all you do is basic dots, oh, excuse me, just leave it like that, that's fine as it is actually, and excuse me, I forgot this one as well, so basic, and that should be fine, okay, so I'm going to give that a run now, and you have the exact same output here, all right, so what happens then if I try the same thing with the advanced, well, what you get is a type error, so the way to get around that is firstly we can delete all of those default values and put a pass in here and hopefully that should be good to go as you can see here now I don't have to change my code with the comp though so if I run this comp class, I'm still going to get the exact same output as you can see here. So it's not affected by the change that's done in the basic class here, which, are, which is our base class. All right, so that concludes my lecture on composition. And I hope that's been insightful and I hope you can appreciate the differences and advantages of using composition over inheritance. Thank you.